Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Go. So we are continuing the GS5 course based on Assam. In the previous class, we were discussing about the various demographic characteristics of population of Assam. So today we will talk about the remaining portion of the chapter. Our next important demographic character is literacy. So according to Census 11, which shows that Assam has an overall literacy of 73.18%. However, in case of male, it is 78.81% and in case of female, it is 67.27%. Zee hok, belek belek state or literacy proportion of variation to dekha jai. Then the Jorhar has the highest literacy rate of all the districts, followed by Sipsagar. And we see the lowest literacy rate in Dubri. And other districts uh, which are having low literacy rate are Dorong, Kokrajar, Marigao, and Borpeta. It is seen that the districts having a growth of population in the last few decades due to immigration, literacy rate is uh, found to be low there. It is a female literacy rate. Imanta male female literacy rate or mother difference dekhana So similarly, female literacy rate or kotha kole like general literacy, um, Jorhar is having the highest literacy rate followed by Sipsagar, and similarly, the Dhubri is having the lowest female literacy rate. Hmm, APSC recently launched kora sample paper Dutaman population of question ami silo. So the question asks according to 2011 census, the highest literacy rate in the district of Assam. यार ऑप्शन दिया है से चिहरे यार ते जोर हाथ ऑप्शन तो ना है घोटे के सिपसागर ऑप्शन तो करेक्ट आंसर होगा ये तो ये ता क्वेश्चन है से यार ते खुदे से व्हिच पीपल वे ता अलीस इनहेबिटेंट्स ऑफ असम तो मैं लास्ट क्लास में डिस्कस कोई सिलो जे पीपल फ्रॉम मॉनकेमर डिस्ट्रिक्स हु यूज्ड टू स्पीक द ऑस्ट्रोएशियाटिक the next question is asking about the decadal growth from uh, 2001 to 2011. So last class, I missed. I see. Look, the correct answer 17.01%. Another statement-based question. Yeah, question is number D. Plus, the population of Assam forms about five percent of total population of India. So it is correct. No, I missed. I see. It is about two point six percent. Manasil. Around 20% of the population lives in urban areas in Assam. That is also not correct. It's uh, because 86% of the population is living in the rural area of Assam. And the uh, B option says the population density of Assam is lower than the national uh, average. It is also wrong because population density of Assam is about 398 per square kilometer while uh, the national average is 382 per kilometer so the answer will be option a go to get a the population chapter to pray sota site aman question i say mostly factual question how to normal data will monitor here a hole so next we will discuss about the okay occupational composition of assam so the economic condition of a region can be understood by looking at the proportion of its total population engaged in various economic activities however according to uh, 2001 census the working population of the state constitutes 35.78 percent the districts of Lakhimpur, dhemaji dibrugar karbianglong tinsukia sipsagar jorhat golaghat have high working population maybe this is because of the presence of tea gardens except in the districts of dhemaji lakhimpur and karbi anglong interestingly the districts of dhubri karimganj borpeta nogao and kachar have remarkably small working population though these districts are having very high population density but uh, they have neither industry nor adequate land to carry out agriculture does the working population move outside in search of employment and livelihood it may be noted that 
the districts of Kamrup, Kachar, Dibrugar, Tinsukia have greater proportion of working population engaged in secondary such as the industrial sectors and the tertiary sectors such as the service, transport and communication sectors etc. On the other hand, if we see uh, the Morigao, Lakhimpur and Dhemaji districts, they have little employment opportunities in these sectors. So we have discussed all the important points of the demographic characteristics of population of Assam. So let us now see the important part that is the settlement pattern. The rural settlement of the state varies in form and pattern from place to place. The factors affecting these variations can be the physiography of the villages and then the alignment of the river flowing near a, a village on which the settlement patterns are made and thirdly the alignment of road or railway running near the village and then the population density uh, which plays a major role in the uh, settlement pattern of a place and then lastly the socio-cultural factors like the caste, religion etc. So let us see the various patterns found in state of Assam. So first the common pattern is known as the linear settlement pattern. You can simply define it as the pattern of settlement in which the homestead are laid out one after the another in one or two parallel rows in known is known as the linear pattern to it is simply diagram dot moi jenake dekhai disu teneke linear pattern not hoy to road ba railway eta usorot ba river eta usorot eneke settlement bur linearly thake thoka dekha jay so the physical factors leading to this can be said as the juncture of hill and plain like the residential houses are built at the immediate end of the hill slope আমি যেনেকে দেখা পাওঁ আমাৰ খানাপাৰা সাইডত কিতাবা গলেও দেখা যায় যে তাৰ যোনটো হিল স্লোপটো যোৰ এণ্ড হৈছে তাতে মানুহ থাকা ষ্টার্ট কৰে গটিকে লিনিয়া পেটাৰ্ন এটা দেখা যায় আৰু তাৰ ওপৰি ভিলেজেস বাই সাইড অফ লার্জ ৰিভার্স যেনেকে ৰিভার এটা পাৰে পাৰে মানুহবোৰ সেটেল হৈ যায় যদি ৰিভাৰটো এডিকুৱেট ৰিসোর্সেস প্ৰভাইড কৰি আছে যেনেকুৱা দা মিছিং ভিলেজেস অফ মাজুলি এণ্ড লখিমপুৰ then the most important factor that affects the linear settlement is a road or railway line example if we see the most uh, mostly the less populated areas of dibrugar and jorhat along the highway so we see on both sides of the land uh, people are settled um, uh, in a linear pattern which is also termed as the uh, shoe string pattern गति के शू लेजडल जैनेक राखो तेने पेटार्न एट देखने पा जाए एने लिनियर पेटार्न टूक शू स्ट्रिंग पेटार्न भी कह सो नेक्स्ट इम्पर्टेन्ट सेटलमेंट पेटार्न इज द रेक्टेगुलर सेटलमेंट इन दिस सेटलमेंट द होम स्टेट्स आर एरेज इन सच ए मेनर दैट द भिलेज एपियर्स टू वि रेक्टेगुलर एंड सच सेटलमेंट्स आर सीन in the thickly populated areas of Brahmaputra and Barak Valley. Here, uh, lesser area accommodates a greater number of population. That is why Karimganj, Kachar, Nogao, Nalbari and Dhubri, these types of settlements are found. Here, if you have a flat-prone area, flat-prone area, highland area, তেনেকুৱা হাইলেণ্ডত চ' পপুলেশ্যনবোৰ বেছিকৈ একমডেট হয় গতিকে এনেকুৱা টাইপৰ চেটেলমেণ্ট দেখিবলৈ পোৱা যায় দ্য নেক্সট চেটেলমেণ্ট ইজ দ্য আইছো আইছোলেটেড চেটেলমেণ্ট পেটাৰ্ন চ' ইন দ্য হিলস এণ্ড দ্য ফুড হিল প্লেইনছ অফ আসাম হেবিটেশ্যনছ উইথ অনলি ওৱান টু অৰ এ ফিউ হোম ষ্টেটছ আৰ ফাউণ্ড ছাচ চেটেলমেণ্ট গ্ৰোজ আপ নিয়ৰ এ পেৰেনিয়েল চ'ৰ্চ অফ ৱাটাৰ হুৱেৰ দ্য ট্ৰান্সপৰ্ট এণ্ড কমিউনিকেশ্যন ইজ লেচ এণ্ড দেন ডেভেলপমেণ্ট ইজ অলছো place and found mostly in the hills areas jenukoi karbi anglong not kachar hill ebor rural thaiburot gole enukoi isolated settlement dekhibole puwa jay the next is the amorphous settlement pattern so this kind of settlement is mostly seen in the uh, flat plains and riverine areas of the middle and the lower brahmaputra valley 
where there are settlements of immigrants from the then East Bengal, that is the Bangladesh. So, if you migrate to the Manhubure, you can see flat plains, uh, pal agriculture, land, and then settle. So, the uh, physical characteristic जुन्तु होय रीजन हे टु पर डिपेंड करि पेलाय दुटा टाइप पर एमोरफस सेटलमेंट दिखा पुआ जाय एटा होल जुन्बुर फ्लैट प्लेन एरिया आरो रिवर टु जस्ट लेवी पार्ट टुटे मानुबरे सेटल सेटलमेंट करे आरो जदि ए सेटलमेंट टु क्रॉप फील्ड पुरा देखा जाय जुन्बुर लो लाइन एरिया क्रॉप फील्ड तो ताते स्पेशल एटा क्लस्टर फॉर्म होय जोत माने एटा क्लस्टर आंतु क्लस्टरक क्रॉप फील्ड्स बुरे सेपरेट करि राखे तो जैसे कि मैं डायग्राम तो देखा ही सु क्रॉप फील्ड बुरो मज़े मज़े ऐसा निर्दिष्ट डिस्टेंस और मुरे मुरे सेटलमेंट ऐसा ऐसा होए से जो तो स्क्वेयर सेटलमेंट टाइप है तो ये तो एमोरफस सेटलमेंट बुली को है तो मोस्टली लोअर समोरफल ये तो सेटलमेंट देखी बोले पुआ जाए सो नेक्स्ट इम्पोर्टेंट अमी जने के डांगों डांगों टी स्टेट टी गार्डन बुरो सो टी स्टेट्स बुरे खा पाऊँ तो ये तो टेने को ऐसे टेलमें सो ए टी गार्डन कंटेन्स ए लार्ज टी प्रोसेसिंग प्लांट एन ऑफिस ए वेयरहाउस ए प्राइमरी स्कूल ए डिस्पेंसरी बंगलोस एंड रोज ऑफ हार्ट्स फॉर लेबरर्स सो सच एस कंपैक्ट एंड रेगुलेट uh, state settlement or it is also called as the Latifandian settlement. Go to a complete settlement pattern to salu. Riyami uh, ethnic problem of Assam. Zikini as again discuss koilo hun kale. So which is the last part of this chapter. So as we discussed in the earlier class that uh, people of Assam uh, are the descendants of different ethno linguistic groups. So these groups stand out as ethnic group and each claiming for uh, distinct socio-cultural identity and also seeking for uh, socio-cultural and economic protection and reservation etc. So all these have led to a socio-political unrest in the state for few decades. The causes of this ethnicity can be said as the uh, migrants from different racial and ethno-linguistic origin. So they, therefore, these people uh, inherit different socio-cultural and racial identity. Secondly, the historical compulsions and the developments were such that there was little opportunity for emotional integration of various groups of people in the past. protect group political leader So a group को मानु हो कोले निजोर मजोर इंटीग्रेशन ऐता बना बोले चांस ना पाले। अगेन ड्यूरिंग ब्रिटिश रूल एंड आल्सो आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस देर ओकर अनिक्वल सेक्टरल डेवलपमेंट। गोटी के ऐता सोशियो इकोनॉमिक इम्बैलेंस देखा पुआ जाए जिहे तो इक्वल डेवलपमेंट ना है। सो सच सिचुएशन लेड तू इंक्रीजिंग so the next reason can be the uh, the geographical isolations of certain areas inhabited by certain groups and absence of development in them and thus uh, there is a feeling of deprivation and exploitation among them again the illegal migration of people from a uh, long time uh, that uh, the local people fear of losing their cultural identity and political hold junto ami currently dekhi asu का प्रोटेस्ट हो खमोह बता पिस होतु एंड लास्टली द लैक ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इन द स्टेट लीडिंग टू रैपिड ग्रोथ ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट स्पेशली द एडुकेटेड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट जेतिया योथपुर एडुकेटेड योथपुर अनएम्प्लॉयड होय तेतिया की होय एम एमलेसनेस होय जाय योथपुर जुंतु किसुमान वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट जार आसे बा कुनो जार पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट आसे हिहते योथपुरक इन्फ्लुएंस करे किसुमान रीजनल सेंटीमेंट बस सब रीजनल सेंटीमेंट बस लिंग्विस्टिक सेंटीमेंट इनुका किसुमान एथनिसिटी डेवलप्ड होए ये योद्ध बुरा माजूर। सो आमी सब बोलेगी वो जो यार सल्यूशन की है। सो फर्स्टली द सेंस ऑफ डिप्राइवेशन एंड एक्सप्लोइटेशन एट ऑल द लेवल्स हैज टू बी वाइप्ड आउट। द सेंस ऑफ इ 
efforts to contain the immigration, identifying illegal migrants, then deportation. Then government have to take uh, steps to strengthen the economy of the each group. And then lastly, the proper political mechanism to empower the ethnic groups so that they can manage their own affairs. So, this is our population chapter. And this is the notes in the notes in the class. So, this is the description section of DDIM. So, this is the notes in the description section of DDIM. So, this is the notes in the description section of DDIM. Uh, and thanks for watching and keep studying